what is going on you guys big z in this one from sports talk and holy crap did you guys watch that game phenomenal game what a phenomenal performance by both of these teams ja morant jv on this end we got carmelo we got dame lillard and we got cj mccollum and Nurkic on the other what a performance by these two teams but then memphis grizzlies screwed up many many times they had many turnovers they had uh 25 personal fouls 18 turnovers even though they had a better shooting percentage Compared to uh, Trailblazers, they just could not win. And at the end, CJ McCollum basically took over. Portland Trailblazers dropped 37 points on uh, on the Grizzlies on the fourth. They were losing. They were trailing by three, at as many as five points at one point in the fourth. And then McCollum took over, and they were dropping threes. Carmelo dropped some threes. Uh, Dame Lillard dropped some twos and everything. It was basically the sealed in that 37 points compared to... Grizzlies 28 points plus they did not foul that many times Trailblazers only fouled overall 19 times compared to Grizzlies 25 and uh, Trailblazers with only 13 turnovers and I've seen like Jamon turning the ball over a couple of times at the end this guy is young he just only turned 21 and then he was facing McCollum so McCollum was like I buy I got you and McCollum exploded today holy shit man McCollum dropped 29 points and he took over in the fourth basically uh, he, he went 11 for 19 overall field goal and 3 for 7 in threes, including those three those two threes at the end. Jeez, man. Basically sealed the deal. Sealed the deal for uh, the Trailblazers. Trailblazers win. They're, they're advanced. They're into the playoffs. And Dame Lillard, like he said, he did not come here to waste his time. And he, he did not waste his time, man. He, he led the Trailblazers with 31 points today. 31 points. His uh, field goal percentage was pretty... Bad, pretty shaky 6 for 15 and 5 for 14 in 3 long range he was like holy shit went crazy but but here's the deal 14 for 14 in free throws so he basically used those free throws holy shit man he was on the money he got a double double with what 10 10 rebounds 10 assists actually what the heck I'm saying 10 assists but but yeah dude one two three four four Blazers players went over 20 points so they went all out man and like like they said they're not here to waste their time so they basically fucked shit up honestly fucked shit up and let's talk about Nurkic what a performance by this guy 41 minutes 22 points and holy shit 21 rebounds man so you got a 2020 game just Joseph Nurkic phenomenal performance man 8 for 14 field goal really good work he missed a lot of free throws had he gotten them uh, the lead would have been better for Trailblazers. Okay, he was only four for nine free throw, so he was under 50% in free throw. But what a performance, man! 2020 game, 22 points, 21 rebounds. What else you need, man? Carmelo at the other, other on the other hand, he got a he got a three point at the end. He, yeah, I think that's a dagger for uh, for the Trailblazers basically. That that they had he just gotten that one. That's the only one he got in. He attempted six. He only got one in. Holy shit, man! 21 points for Carmelo. And the 5 for 15 field goal, that doesn't matter. They're through. They're going to play the Lakers. That's a daunting task for the Trailblazers. But hey, you guys made the fucking playoffs, man. Like you said, you ain't here to waste your time and you got it. You got it. Carmelo, good job, man. It could be your last season. Might as well play play the GOAT uh, in the playoffs. But that's really good work by uh, Trailblazers. On the other hand, the Grizzlies were young, inexperienced, but still, they did good. JV. JV got like 17 rebounds and uh, 22 points. He was not playing around. And John Moran tied his career. That's no, that he didn't tie anything. That's his new career high. 35 points. 35 points, look. That's good work, man. And eight assists. What a performance by John Moran. He was doing the pick and roll. He was uh, even dunking on these Blazers. Holy shit. A 13 for 28. That's below 50%, but this guy just turned 21. Come on, give him some credit. Give him some credit. Three for six, three points. Like I said, uh, they they were shooting better than the Trailblazers. Their uh, three point percent of fifty six percent compared to Trailblazers thirty seven point five percent. But still, they they lost. Poor guys. They need to get their shit together, and hopefully next year they'll be back and they'll they'll be ready to fuck shit up. I'm telling you. But hey, congratulations to Trailblazers. Y'all made it. Lakers gonna be a tough one. But I wish you all the best. I don't know how that's going to play out, but I wish you all the best, man. Congratulations, Dame Time. Congratulations, Mello. Uh, CJ McCollum played with some 
back issue, injury problem, you guys made it. Good, good luck. Congratulations and good luck. Thanks, you out of here.